Hey everyone, one of the problems of making manifesto promises is that you tend to get held to account. So this week we saw a promise about getting rid of petrol and diesel cars by the year 2040, over 23 years from now when a lot of the politicians frankly will be retired, deceased, writing in a club in St James's or simply arguing about how many more leadership elections it will take to us Jeremy Corbyn. Given how electric cars have been coming along, though, it's all a pretty silly debate. There's an expression at the Stone Age didn't end just because we ran out of stone. Volvo was already planning a complete switchover without needing any arbitrary legislation to make them do it. And BMW just announced plans for the brand new electric Mini, which will, of course, be built in the UK, hashtag despite Brexit. That brings us on to the other news story of the week, though, the Labour Party's Europe policy, or lack thereof. Either way, it's a viewpoint which has about as much coherence as bad Game of Thrones fan fiction. They say they want to leave the customs union, but still want to keep it on the table and Corbyn himself has ruled out and ruled in single market membership. Well, Diane Abbott and John McDonald went on record saying they'll still definitely, possibly, probably, maybe keep it as an option. As far as the Schrodinger's cat of a manifesto debate goes, it's probably questionable who at the shadow front bench even knows the difference between the customs union and the single market if they were questioned on it. But for now, it's the weekend, people, so go out and enjoy the sun. According to a report just released this week, drinking cuts your diabetes risk, so why not open a case of red wine or possibly a case of scotch just to be on the safe side? I just saw my local loan shark walking down the street with a bloodstained cricket bat, so I guess even he's on his way to enjoy some sun in the park. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click on the channel icon to subscribe.